In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase to pull your socks up, or you could also say to pull up your socks, both work. It simply means to work harder and work better. I think I did teach this phrase in a lesson on my bigger channel at one point. But when you say to someone, you need to pull your socks up or you need to pull up your socks, it means they're not doing a good job. It means they're not working hard. Let's imagine a younger Bob working at a greenhouse moving pots and the boss coming and saying, you're not working fast enough or hard enough. You need to pull your socks up or you need to pull up your socks. That didn't actually happen, by the way. I've always been a pretty hard worker. Unless I'm not feeling well, I'm, I'm usually working hard and usually working fast. So, But I could imagine maybe that could have happened in the past at some point. I'm trying to use some could phrases for you. Anyways, the second phrase I wanted to teach you is to beat the socks off of. Um, when you beat the socks off of someone, it's usually a sporting event. And it means, obviously, that you won the game. Last night, the Raptors beat the socks off of the Cavaliers. They won their game. It was really exciting. They got two new players, and it was really cool to see them win. They really beat the socks off the other team. So to review, to pull your socks up means to work harder and faster and better. And to beat the socks off of means to win a sporting event handily. Um, by the way, there's another phrase, to knock your socks off. If you are someone who has uh, drinks, beverages that have alcohol in them, if the alcohol is really strong, you might say, oh, this is going to knock your socks off. But anyways, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This is from San Oakley. Hi, Bob, what kind of breed is the black one, please? Thanks for the lesson, by the way. And my response, he's mostly black lab with a bit of something else. I can't remember. I'll ask Jen and mention it in the next lesson. So his name is Walter, he was? just out here with me and he has kind of disappeared a little bit. I'm not sure where he went. He might not appear in this video. We'll see. Um, yeah, so he's part black lab and part chocolate lab. Um, I'll try to find pictures of both of those for you. Um, and there's a little bit of something else in him and I don't know what it is. So part black lab, part chocolate lab, which is like a brown lab. And lab is short for Labrador, by the way. Um, oh, I thought I heard him, but I didn't. Um, but uh, that is what he is. And uh, he also has a good dose of happiness in him. He's one of the happiest dogs we've ever had. He's happy to see strangers. He's happy to see uh, people we know. He's happy to see me. He's just happy all the time, which is good. But you do want your dogs to bark when strangers come as well. Hey, I mentioned in the comments to some of you that um, we have a little bit of snow here. You can see some over there in the yard as well as well as behind me here. We would call this a skiff of snow. I mean, not a lot of snow, but some snow, so that's nice. Um, and if you're wondering what that is, that is some wood that my son brought here that we will eventually burn. It's actually a bunch of old skids. Do you know what skids are? We sometimes call these pallets or skids. And uh, I think he cleaned up uh, someone's yard and uh, he, uh, brought them all here. Uh, we'll probably burn them later this week so that they are gone. We don't burn a lot of stuff. We only burn wood, by the way. We don't burn garbage or anything else like that, but uh, we will probably have a little fire later this week um, because it's nice and wet and there's no danger of the fire spreading. Walter, Walter, come. We'll end the video with watching Walter come running up. Hop up. <laughs> and he just gave me a big lick. Um, now I have a wet spot on my pants. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a couple days with another short English lesson. Bye.